What's good everybody, it's your boy Von back again with another power related video and yes, I'm gonna be covering another Raising Canaan thing. This honestly probably may be the, I don't wanna say last Raising Canaan thing I covered for like a while, but I'm gonna probably slow down on them because I know y'all get tired of seeing me, you know, do a lot of Raising Canaan videos and y'all like, man, do Forrest, man, do book two, do more of like Tommy or Noma, do do more of that stuff, you know what I mean, or the original power. We don't care much about the Raising Canaan stuff, man. You're like, you're too obsessed with the show. I get it, I get it, I get it, but I really want to take the time out to really just say thank you for y'all supporting me so far, but listen, man, we, we about to get to 400 subscribers. I know it ain't that much of a big deal, but we about to get there, and with this character that I'm about to talk about today, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite character from Raising Kanan, which is obviously the main star of the show, is Kanan Elijah Stark, or, you know whoever you want to call him, Slim, whatever. We're going to be talking about young Kanan today, the man himself. Now, we're going to be talking about what's next for Kanan in Season 3. What's really next for Kanan, uh, young Kanan in Season 3? Now, we've all, I've already said what y'all think is going to be happening to Kanan in my Breeze video, my De not Defcon video, but my other re related Raising Kanan videos that I've involved him in. Y'all going to be like, yeah, he's going to be coming ruthless. Now, yes, I agree with everybody with what everybody said. But first, let's do a little bit of recap. Now, from season one to season two, specifically season one, we've seen young Kanan mess up a lot. Like, we've seen Tariq in Original Power and Book 2 mess up. But now, Kanan really messed up a lot. And it feels a little bit accurate of how he messed up. Like, you've seen him making the bad batch of crack, indirectly killing off a lot of crackheads indirectly killing off Nicole then you see him with the whole buck 20 situation acting out of a re reaction instead of actually asking about what was going on and you see him just go off a reaction and kill buck 20 with D Wiz and also the whole situation with uh Unique's boys um uh, raiding uh the stash house after being with Davina and then him having, you know, beef with Scrappy. We've seen Kana mess up a lot in season one and season two. And that's what I loved. I love how they showed him that he messed up. It was kind of like how it was in Snowfall when Franklin in the earlier seasons of season one specifically, you saw how Franklin made a mistake of doing this that way and doing that that way of just being young and naive and not really taking the time to really peep game in front of you from your OGs. And you seen how it was with Kanan. Kanan was just so eager and naive to get into the game that he wasn't paying attention to the rules and regulations of the game and what it was to survive in it. Because we seen Kanan almost get his head blown off a bunch of times in season one and season two, from the Italians to Unique Boys to just even, you know, Freddie, like a lot of people. Like you seen him almost get his head blown off, and then you seen him, you know, get arrested for fighting. Like Kanan was literally <laughs> doing a lot like and literally like a small period of time of just him being what 15 and 16 or just mainly 15 years old in the in the show of season one and season two you seen Kanan go through a lot but what I love that they did kind of show in season one and season two you kind of started to relate to Kanan as a human being and not just the monster that we all know in the original power and that's what I loved about it but for season three after seeing what happened in season two with obviously him finding more about his mom and Howard being his actual dad. And then on top of that, with the death of Scrappy and then, you know, fame, like a lot that's that that's been going on. Kanan is going to be catching on to it soon. And not on top and on top of that, Kanan is literally going to become a ruthless dude. Like you seen what he did to Freddie, like he fucked Freddie all the way up. Like Freddie was scared of him. And then. You know, but they kind of been foreshadowing that a Ruthless Kanan was going to be coming since the first episode of Raising Kanan even started when he beat them bullies up. You saw a Ruthless Kanan was going to start coming, like, you know, in the beginning. <laughs> but we we know that a young Kanan is going to be, a young Ruthless Kanan is going to be coming, like, in season three. And do I think he's going to be on edge? I think he's going to be on edge, but with a conscience, though. In the original power, he was on edge, but not with a conscience. In this one, he's going to be on edge with a little bit of heart to him. Like, he's going to maybe show a little bit of compassion, but after a while, that's going to be out the window. But Young Kanan, I do see him learning the business more, obviously being involved with Snap and Pop. Um... You know, meeting obviously the man, the myth himself, Breeze, and then him and Famous doing what they need to do, and Jukebox. 
I see a lot of stuff for young Kanan that he's going to be learning. He's going to be learning a lot of things and he's going to be observing a lot of things. He's going to be learning power moves. Exactly. Especially with Ronnie Mathis coming home. He's going to be trying to learn how to be strategic, how to follow you, not follow your enemy, but let them think your enemy is down type thing. You know, like what he said in the original power, he's going to be studying. He's going to be peeping game. But that's what I think is next for Young Kanan. He's going to be just on, not on 10, but he's going to be on 8 or 7. That nigga going to be on 8 or 7 because he, he's getting there. He's getting there. <laughs> and, we're, and we're seeing the parallels of why he's getting there. So it's going to be cool to see what happens with a Young Kanan. But if you haven't seen my other videos, make sure you go hit those other, you know, see those other videos. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ah, like, comment, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And till then, your boy Von out. Peace. What's up now, bitches?